ladies and gentlemen, the scientists are working on a pill that will help you live for 200 years. I don't know about you, but who the hell wants to go through this oppression <laughs> and, and subjugation and mass incarceration and you sure have not made living good for everybody to even want to live for 200 years. You must be out of your mind. So let's talk about this, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what the scientists are working on. A drug that lets you live for 200 years. But think about it. Who are they going to let live for 200 years? The same oppressors that we're looking at now? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. So adding another 100 years to your lifespan might be the stuff of science fiction, but scientists are working on a miracle drug that would make it a reality. Yeah, but what are you getting in addition to this? Are you also open to sickness along the 200 years? Are you open to being crippled? What is this going to do? To your physical body in the long term you know because let's face it they can't create anything without a ton of side effects what kind of side effects are you going to be dealing with oh that makes a hell of a difference okay the drug taken in pill form works by eliminating cells that contribute to um, the aging process in the body, thus potentially doubling our lifespan. Human aging is hurried along by cells called zombie cells, significantly known as secessant cells. No, our aging is not hurried along, okay? <laughs> That's not us. We, we know who this pill is for. All right, these cells stop dividing over our lifespans, accumulate inside our bodies, and eventually release compounds that speeds up aging. The drug has been tested in, okay, so it's been on trial since 2020. And of course, they've been using mice, and the results have improved the physical function and extend health and lifespan. Scientists are now working on replicating the results in humans. Mm -mm -mm. British biologist Dr. Andrew Steele, in his book on the longevity of human life, argued that the entirely it's entirely feasible for humans to live beyond a hundred years with a certain kind of drug. Well, how come the ancestors that did actually live longer didn't need drugs to do it? I I'm serious. There were people centuries and centuries ago that lived beyond 100 years and had no problem doing it, and they didn't need no drugs from your scientists. I'm just saying that just right there proves that this generation of people that you see today are less smarter than the ancients that were here before. So I don't think there's any kind of absolute cap on how long we can live, Dr. Steele told uh, Mail Online. I can see a physical or biological reason why people couldn't live to 200 the challenge is whether we can develop a biomedical science to make it possible. Study outcomes and, you know, every few years, the purpose of some kind of fundamental limit on human lifespan. But they are always one crucial missing piece. I've never tried treating an aging process before. I, I don't believe these folks are going to be able to pull this off, y'all. 
I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, we can measure it based on a lot of things that we see today. Number one, we are dealing with two pandemics and they have not resolved one of them. Okay. But we're supposed to believe they're going to go in there and make this magic lifespan pill. And it, come on. I, I no, I, I don't believe this is going to happen, but let's go on. All right. So a study outcomes. Years that propose some kind of fundamental limit on human lifespan. Um, let me just go down because I believe I did read that before. It kind of got sidetracked. Okay, so the pills are reportedly already in human trial stage and could very well hit the market within the next 10 years. Okay, so if somebody is getting an additional 100 years onto their life, who's going to watch this happen? Y'all going to have to pass this down from scientist to scientist. Because who's going to watch it happen from start to finish? The scientists that are giving the pill may not live that long themselves. However, even if science is successful, the question remains whether people would want to live another 100 years. Not in this world. No, this world would have to dramatically change before I would even consider it, but we don't have to consider nothing like this anyway, y'all, because the world to come is ours. We don't have to worry about these Frankenstein medications and stuff they come up with, you know, and even if they live for a hundred years, that's just a hundred more years of slavery, isn't it? Okay, so I'm not really fully buying this at all, you know, and even if the pill is in human trial, you would have to have people around long enough to see the people you gave it to live a hundred years. Uh, I'm just saying, y'all, it sounds like it got more bark than bite. That's all I'm saying. But y'all... Just let me know if you believe that they can come up with some pill that will give you years onto your life. And let me know if you would take it. I am going with a resounding no. You know, only because you would have to, not only would you have to give the pill, you would have to make sure the quality of life is good on earth if you definitely cannot guarantee a better quality of life then in my opinion it's counterproductive to give this to somebody that you're already subjugating and killing on the regular it just doesn't look good it don't look good to all let's just put it that way some but not all please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.